Hello my beautiful friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video I'm doing my February update on my hashtag Team Project Pen 2020 rolling project pen. Um, I have a bucket load of products in front of me. This month I managed to use up a total of five products. I'm rolling heaps in and I will let you know the progress on all the other products that I have in this project. This is the project that I have the most amount of products in. So this is where you're going to see a lot of products rolling in and rolling out quite regularly. Um, this project mainly has like complexion products, hair care products and like perfume products. And then I have many other projects where I have my partners in cream project pan where i'm focusing on cream products i have my mini marathon where i'm focusing on mini size makeup items and i also have my roulette project pan collab which is anything in my collection that correlates to the prompt that i draw out and i also have my pan that palette challenge going on at the moment so a total of five project pans going on at the moment uh so far i'm doing really well I'm not finding too many crossovers or too many clashes and I seem that I'm finding that I'm getting a good amount of use out of the majority of my products in all those projects but so far I'm really enjoying it as I said and if you are on a project painting journey or you want to see some project painting videos to help motivate you to use products in your collection then I hope you would consider subscribing down below so you can keep up to date on all my project pan videos and that way you can keep motivated to use products that you already have in your collection and focus on those products and get some use out of the products that you've already got in your collection before buying any brand new products. So without further ado let's jump on in to the update. I'm going to start with the products that, that I barely used and we'll work all the way through to the products that I've used up and that's where you'll get to see some pan porn today and then I will let you know what products I am introducing right at the end. We might start off with the products that I didn't even touch really. The first one is my Benefit Cabral. I recently rolled in an eyebrow pencil into another project pan and I didn't even touch this one this month in that project pan I just have a usage goal so a number usage goal on it so I will be back onto using this one in no time then all my um what are these called all my nail polishes I use these a total of once this month um I was pretty slack when it came to painting my nails my toenails actually desperately need to be repainted uh so I haven't made like any progress on these at all after just one application can barely see any progress on this one I did paint my nails with this one the other night and it's starting to get really gloopy and thick so I think that I am nearing the end of this one so that'll be great to see another nail polish roll out of my collection so those ones there uh also this one here this is the sally hansen moisture repair strengthener nail polish this one hasn't moved at all either because i kind of forgot it to i kind of forgot to put this back on my bedside table to use over night time i accidentally left it in my drawer where i have the rest of these products and i totally forgot about using this one so after filming this update, I'm going to put it back on my bedside table and hopefully we can continue on with the progress again. My Tresemme heat protectant, didn't use this at all either. <laughs> I didn't um, I didn't do any heat styling this month, so that's why there's no progress on that one. Now the rest of the products I did use a few times. I have my trusty little scale here and my laptop in front of me so we can go through and see how much each of these have dropped in weight by. So the first one here is my Juice Hair Angel Mist. Uh, this is like a hydrating, detangling um, hair mist. This one started at 104.25 grams and we are down to 99.1 grams. So we have used a decent amount on this. 99.11 it's saying now. Um, so we have used about five grams of this product. So a decent amount of progress and it has dropped um, in level a tiny little bit. And we might do the last hair care product in this project pan right now. This is my Batiste dry shampoo. This one started at 319.85 grams and it is weighing in at uh, 289.02 grams. So it has dropped by a good 20 grams. 
30 grams, 30-ish grams. So making decent progress on this one. This is like the largest size bottle though, and it's supposed to have a net weight of 240 grams. So we'll see how we go. Oh, I forgot to mention these in products that I didn't use. My three lip liners, I haven't used it, these at all. I just really haven't been into using lip liners lately, so no progress on these ones. Hopefully I will at least get these done by the end of the year. When I do use lip liners, I get through them really quickly, but I just haven't, I just haven't been feeling it lately. So these ones haven't been touched. I don't know. The next one is my Faraway Bella perfume, and I don't think I weighed this one. Let me see. Where's my perfume section? I don't think I weighed this one because I don't think this is even on my list. Oh, here we go. No, I didn't weigh this one. I'm, I'm, I'm useless. I will say though, <laughs> this one was a little bit of a fail. So my whole intention with my rollerballs were to pour it into my um, travel perfume thing so I can use them as a spray instead of a rollerball. Uh, this one seems to have like oil mixed in with it so when I put it into my atomizer it just sprayed like one single strand and I was like I am not using that that's gonna stain my clothes. I like sprayed it in my um my room here to like get the perfume up to the like sprayer and it just jetted like a stream of perfume <laughs> across my room I like drips of perfume sliding down my wall that I had to clean up because it just came out in like one single strand so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this one I'm gonna leave it in the project I'm gonna see if I can find some different things in my collection that maybe or different bottles in my collection that maybe I can pull this into and maybe it will be enough to atomize it but as it stands uh, it's very thick so I need a bit of a more substantial sprayer to turn it from this like thick substance into a sprayer I think that's gonna work I hope that works because I don't want to use it as a rollable as it is I would much prefer a spray so we'll see how we go the next one I don't think I weighed this one either I am terrible at this um, actually uh, no I didn't weigh it God, that's useless. This is the Mecca Illuminating Primer and I have used a fairly decent amount of this one. I will say when I shone my torch into this, it was kind of like built up on one side. So hopefully that settles out a little bit. Uh, let's weigh this one and we'll see how we go with the weight. And I'll plug that in and then we can see if updates next month so this is weighing in at 65.72 grams so we'll see how the weight drops or how much the weight drops by next month fingers crossed it's a decent amount Colourpop no filter concealer last month this one weighed in at 25.14 grams and this one month it weighs in at 24.52 grams we've dropped less than a gram on that one huh interesting I made such a decent amount of progress at the start um, and now I don't seem to be making much progress at all I don't know I it just kind of goes to show you that like it's the base or the part of the tube nearest to the nozzle that holds the most product so um, I don't know I really want to take the stopper out of this but I feel like at the moment the stop is really good for me because it scrapes a decent amount off so I think I need to keep the stopper in for a little bit longer, a little bit longer. For the next few products, it pains me to say that I didn't get these finished because I am so close. I am so incredibly close on all of these products, the next ones. It breaks my heart that I didn't get them done. So the first one is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Champagne. I thought for sure, I thought for sure that I would have this one finished by this update but it is still going strong. So it is at the point where I need to really like um, bend the packaging at the nozzle here and like get it at the right angle and then squeeze it for any to come out. So like it is so close. I reckon maybe, well, I hope, I said this last month, but I hope and I'm praying that maybe another week on this one and I'll have it done. Like I said, it's getting really awkward to get it out. So I think it's almost at the point. It's so close. It's at the point that it's nearly finished. That has been going on for ages. It is a mini size and it has lasted me ages, that one. 
Uh, the next one is the... The next one is my Garnier BB Cream. This one last month weighed in at 29.78 grams. And this month it weighs in at 20.47 grams. So we have used like nine and a half grams on this one. So once again, this one is getting so close to being used up. Um, I think I'm about, I don't want to squeeze this because it will come out most likely. Um, this one again is like at the point where I need to like... Um, bend it just at the cap here like even when I'm this close to it there's not a lot that comes out so once again I think maybe like a week if that on this one and I'll get through it I'm not saying that I am desperate to use this one up I actually really like this product and I use it on a daily basis for work but it's just really frustrating to know that I'm so close to having it finished and I just didn't quite make it so We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully I can have that one finished by the next update. And the last one, this guy has like literally one use left in it and it is my ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. This one I thought I would well and truly have finished today when I applied my setting spray, but as it stood, I already applied way too much setting spray so I just couldn't keep going. Otherwise my makeup would have literally melted off my face. But this one, um, at the last update weighed in at 74.24 grams and now she weighs in at 31.73 grams and there's literally like I am down to here. There's literally like maybe one or two uses left in that one um, if that maybe. And I forgot to update you on one. I totally missed over this one. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I've used the tiniest little bit of this one this month. I think Going into March is when I'm going to see a lot of progress on this one because I am almost finished my Garnier BB cream and I'm not planning on rolling in any new um, foundation products into the project this month. I'm just going to focus on this one and there's not much left. Like we're here and like there's not much left on this one at all. And I do use quite a lot of this when I apply it, uh, just because to get a nice coverage and a nice finish off it, I feel like I need to use a fair bit of this. And I definitely feel like with the pump on this one, it doesn't pump out all that much. Um, so to do a full face, I need to use like four or five pumps, which I know is a lot by the sounds of it, but not a lot, not a lot of foundation pumps out of this one when you press the pump. So last month, this one was 154.51 grams. And this month we are 153.07 grams. Not a lot of progress, uh, maybe like a gram and a bit. So decent amount of progress considering I only use this maybe once or twice. The next five products are the ones that I managed to use up completely. And if you have been keeping track of my updates and whatnot, you probably know what some of these are. The first one is my Astralis Fresh and Flawless. This one is completely finished and used up. Look at that glorious, glorious naked pan. Oh lordy, how satisfying is that? Just seeing that, so good. Um, so yeah, I finished that one up. I think I'm gonna keep this container uh, to maybe do some Franken makeup in I have a few products that are kind of giving me trouble at the moment just due to their like color and whatnot. I'm going to see if maybe I can repress them with maybe a lighter powder or a translucent powder to tone down the color of them and repress it into here and we'll see if it works a bit better for me that way. The next one is my Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely Perfume Rollable. This one I was tipping into my travel perfume bottle thing um, managed to use that one up that's the first rollable that I've used up this year and I'm hoping to use up all my rollables this year the next one is one that I only had like one or two uses on last month and that is my Ofra illuminating primer I said that I would get this one done in like two or three uses after my last update and that I certainly did I'm glad to have this one finished I did quite enjoy this one when I was using it I will say though this one was quite a thick primer so when I got down to like about here on the bottle that's when I had to basically open this up every time I used it and either scrape it out with the 
the pump here or I'd get my spatula in like right at the end because it's a square bottle I had to get my spatula in there and really scrape the sides down to get all the product out so I don't really enjoy the packaging on this one all that much I think that particular product would be really good in an airless pump in my opinion I would really enjoy that in an airless pump so that's another one finished I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that but as you can see there she is empty empty so satisfying next is another perfume and i thought i would get through this one really quickly and this is my giorgio armani aqua di Gio. um this is the one that i rolled in last month and i've managed to finish it up as well and it was only up to here last month so like it didn't wasn't a massive challenge to use that one up anyway and the last product that i managed to use up is one that i have been working on for so long and I finally have completely finished this one up. I have scraped it bone dry and it is so satisfying. It is the most satisfying thing I've seen in a long time. And it is my MAC Cream Sheen Lip Gloss in Japanese Spring. How, how freaking amazing does that look? Oh my gosh, so satisfying. So unbelievably satisfying. And for those of you, I know some of you were very concerned last month by the black marks on this tube. Never fear. I have taken them off. I have removed them. They are not there anymore. So you can stop stressing. Mac will, Mac will accept this one. And I will say um, this month I actually went and I picked up a crochet hook. This is going to sound very strange. I picked up a crochet hook and it actually helped me get the stopper out of this uh, with amazing ease and it didn't damage the stopper. So I was able to pop it out and I have since put it back in and um, like there's no damage to it at all because I was able to kind of pull it out instead of kind of like leveraging it out with a spatula. I did try and get this one out with a spatula, but every time I tried to get under the um, stopper here, I just felt like I was going to break it. And I was just paranoid that Mac wouldn't accept it if it was broken. So I just went with the crochet hook method and it worked a treat. So if you are having trouble getting um, any stoppers out, try a crochet hook. It'll change your life. <laughs> So those are the five products that I have managed to use up this month and a massive, massive win with that lip gloss. I've been working on that lip gloss, I think, since almost the start of last year or the year before. So, so happy to finally be done with that one. Now, this month I am rolling in six products. I know that's a lot, but a lot of them are like, a lot of them are in the same category. So... The first pile here that I have are all complexion products, like setting products, setting powders, and blotting products. So the first one is the Mali Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. Now this is like a cream silicone blotting product and I've had this in my collection for longer than I would like to admit um, and I have been using this like the past month and I think it's something that I could actually get through not my favorite product to use it's a little bit icky I think in my opinion but I I've spent good money on this I got this in one of my mail forwarding parcels from America so it costed me it cost me like more than I would also like to admit probably. Uh, so I am going to pop this in my purse for work and see if I can use it on the daily as a blotting product. Like I said, it's not the nicest product to use, but I have it in my collection and I want to get use out of it. I want to get it done. So there's that one. I'm going to weigh all these now. <laughs> I'm going to pop them in my spreadsheet now. So we can see the difference in the first update with these products. So the Mali weighs in at 104.96 grams. I'm going to pop that in with my powders, I guess. That's the first one. And the next two are powder products. The top one here is my Mary Kay Mineral Foundation in the color Ivory 2. And the second one here is the Cinema Secrets ultra loosened setting powder now this one here was almost finished and i ended up pouring almost 
all of the Cinema Secrets powder into here to knock back the color a little bit. So it is a little bit more of like an everyday wearable color, I think, now, as opposed to quite a dark color. This one um, can look, well, it could look quite dark on me on a daily basis. So I'm gonna use this one for like my work setting powder. And then this one I probably will use when I have like filming makeup or something like that or anything that this powder doesn't quite work with so I'm gonna roll both of these in I think the cinema secret one I will probably get through quite quickly because like I said I've poured most of this into this one this one will probably take me a very long time to get through so we'll see how we go with both of these ones the cinema secret starting weight is 47.73 grams and the Mary Kay's starting weight is 59.15 grams. So that's those three. The next one is one that I kind of rolled in in the middle of February because of the uh, Far Away Bella fail. This is the Victor and Roth Flower Bomb Perfume. This is another rollable. So I'm currently working through the first kind of empty of this into my travel uh, perfume here. So that's how much I used up this month this was a brand new tube when I rolled it in so hopefully I can finish this one pretty soon and then top it up once again so we'll see how we go with that one Victor and Roth flower bomb perfume is quite a strong intense perfume so I don't wear it often because it can be overpowering and when I do wear it I spray it on quite sparingly because it is quite overpowering the next one is the Sol de um, Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. I really like the smell of this one. Obviously, it smells like the Boom Boom Cream. Um, this is where I'm up to at the moment, and I'm hoping I can get through this one pretty quickly. It's just a body mist. It's just like a fragrance mist. So it doesn't last all that well, but it makes you smell like caramely and really nice, and I really like the scent of it. This is like the smaller deluxe sample size ish um and i have the full size from another kit that i got um so i'm gonna work through this one and i think maybe when i use this one up i might pour the far away bella into this bottle and see if it'll work that way hopefully it'll work we'll see we'll see you can see through the bottle so i'm just going to track along on the side there and then the last one is a roll-in because i'm almost finished the ColourPop setting spray this is my mac fix plus prep and prime in the cherry blossom scent so this bottle is barely used so it is about here on the bottle so it's pretty much a brand new bottle i have I think two and a half bottles like I've got two full-size bottles of Mac fix plus and I've got a mini of Mac fix plus at the moment so I'm gonna use one up because I don't need that many bottles of Mac fix plus I do really like Mac fix plus um, but I don't need that many bottles so I'm gonna focus on this one once I finish using up the Colourpop one and that is all the products that I'm rolling in this is a very long update um, those are all the products that I'm rolling in. Those are the five products that I used up and the progress on all the other ones. And fingers crossed next month I can see some progress and maybe some empties on those products that have been like hanging on and clawing on for dear life as they near the end of their run. So that's it for this um, Team Project Pan 2020 February update. Let me know down in the comments box how you are going on your Team Project Pan. If you enjoy Project Pan videos as much as I do and you loved this update, then I hope you would consider giving it a big thumbs up. Also, if you want to keep update on all my Project Pan videos throughout the year, then I hope you would consider subscribing down below so you can get notified when those videos go live. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.